Hey everybody, this is Terrible Tim Witherspoon, former two-time heavyweight champion of the world. And we're here, we're, we're, we're here to critique the video of Dan the Wolfman. Watch this here. What a cheat. Boy, that Dan is really tough. Okay, he looks tough. He's slapping his head. He slapped his head, and he's moving. Okay, he's a southpaw. All right. Oh, no, now he's switching right. Okay. Yep. Okay, Dan. Yeah, keep your hands up, Dan. Keep your hands up, and okay. You look in good shape. Okay. I would, keep, I would say keep your defense tighter the closer your opponent get to you. Instead of like that. You could you could you could um leave your hands out there. Okay, but keep your elbows in. See how you just put your hands up, make sure your elbows are tight against your body. Okay. Your hands should be close against your body because you're close. This guy's got long arms. You shouldn't be doing that right there. If if anything, keep your hands close to your body. So you can block. See your hands out there? That's okay, champ. That's okay, but you need to keep your D in close because that's where the punch is going to land. They ain't going to land out there. He's trying to see how he's moving just to get you. Your, your defense should be tight. Yeah, I like that, but bring it against your body. See how you, you left your chin, your chin up in the air? No, keep your chin down against your chest. Yeah, like that. Okay, you're doing good too. Okay. You could just turn your shoulders and throw a left hook. You move your whole body. Okay, that's where you got to tighten your defense up, Dan. Okay, hands got to, anytime you get close, tighten your defense up. Put your arms against your body, elbows against your body. Don't leave nothing loose, loose out there. All right, yes, you should be tight now. See how loose you are? And you should keep your chin down. All right, here we go. Keep your hands up. You shouldn't throw that elbow up. All you got to do is put your arm against your body, tighten against your body. We might have to do another video um, to show you what to do, okay? When you use one arm, the other one should be up against your head for defense, champ. Okay, you got the strength, the power. All you need to know is a little bit more skills. That's all, okay? Now, you got to think defense. You don't think they're going to hit you back? After you throw punches, you got to throw your hands up. You can look beautiful later after you win a million, couple of million on your next, on your, whenever your fight is, okay? Oh, uh, you got your hands up, okay, but now you should keep them tight. See that elbow you threw out like that? You should keep everything tight against your body. And anytime you move your head backwards, put your hand up the block, okay? If you go back with your head, come forward with a punch. But if you move your head back, put your hand there to block the punch. So like you're up against the ropes. And you lean back, make sure your hand's there to block. Because you're more likely to get hit with the second punch. That's when you lean, the second punch going to hit you. That was beautiful. Okay. Okay, in defense, you got to keep your hands up. I see you doing that movement right there, but keep your hands up. You got to learn how to turn your shoulders, Dan. Okay, you got to learn how to turn your shoulders. You got you in there with a tall guy, so you should be moving in. He's taller than you. You should be slipping your way in. Keep your chin tucked in. Get inside. You don't supposed to be out there, Dan. You don't supposed to be out there unless you got a good, good defense. See how tall this guy is? He could just jab you and everything. So you got to work your way in. That's too wide. See how you get ready to throw that punch? That's too wide. Okay, now you slapped. I don't know. You might... Oh, you keep switching, you switch hands. Stay on one side until you learn that side. Then go to the other side. If you want to switch, play switchy, you got to know the right-hand side first. And that will make the left side much easier. Or if you're, left, if you're on the left side fighting, learn that side first before you look pretty and switched on the right side. It will look much better. Now you're in with another opponent. You should be working. She got long arms, so you should hands should be up. And do not bring your back 
up in the front. Okay, never switch in front of the, in, in front switch from back to front unless you know what you're doing. Okay, you lift your feet up high. You don't have to do that. So there's a lot of little things with man where you would turn into. Okay, you went and grabbed. Okay, now the jab should be moving. Yeah, see that jab should be sharp, but your defense should be tight. Okay, you keep lifting up that hand, that that leg. You don't have to do that. Just slide it. Just slide it. You lift it up, and now maybe that's because of martial arts. You do you do that, and you lift it up the kick. I can understand. Okay. Your main thing is, I think, is is your defense. Okay, you got somebody down. Now I don't know how to. to okay. Okay, you just want to learn the box and stuff, what man? I see you. Okay, make sure you keep your hands up. You keep lifting that feet up. Okay, if it works for you, then keep doing it. You lift that feet up. I think that's because of the the martial arts part of this. But see, these guys. He was a south. He turns out. But okay, all right. Come on, come on, what man? Let's see. Okay, you southpaw, and he's orthodox. Okay, so all you got to do is keep your hands up. Straight jabs, straight jabs. Okay, all right, 52.